All right, here's one more example. Find the least common multiple of 15 and 35. Now, if we start to tackle this, we'll be listing multiples of 15. That's not too hard. 15, and then 15 times 2 is 30, and 15 times 3 is 45, um, 60, and then 75, and then 90, and then 105. All of those numbers are multiples of 15. Now we need to list multiples of 35. So 35 times 1 is 35. 35 times 2 is 70. Then 35 times 3, let me scribble this out, 35 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 3 is 9. Add 1, that's 10. 105. And we found a common multiple. 105 shows up in both lists. But you can see we run into a problem here. And the problem is that as the numbers get big, finding the common multiples becomes harder and harder. So what if we were asked, for example, to find, find the least common multiple of 84 and 30? Well, you wouldn't want to take 84 and start listing multiples of 84 and then 30. Listing multiples of 30 wouldn't be too hard, but listing multiples of 84 would be fairly difficult. It would involve a lot of multiplication. And we do, in fact, have a better and more systematic method. And I'll show you that method now. And we'll use these two numbers, 84 and 30. We want to find the least common multiple of 84 and 30. Here's the approach. First, we find the prime factorization of each number. So let's start with 84. And let's find the prime factorization. We'll see if we divide by 2. 84 divided by 2 is 42. We can divide 42 by 2, and we get 21. And 21 won't divide by 2, but it will divide by 3 and leave us with 7. So 84 factors as 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. And let's find the prime factorization of 30. Well, 30 is divisible by 2. And that leaves us with 15. 15 is not divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So 30 factors as 2 times 3 times 5. Then list the factors of each numbers with the numbers lined up in matching columns. So here's what we do. Here's 84 and 30. And I list my numbers like this. 84 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. And put your 7 way over here. Because when we list the factors of 30, we want to list 2 times 3 times 5. And this is what we mean by matching columns here. I have a column of 2's. Here's another column of 2's. This column happens to be empty at that spot, and that's OK. Here's my 3's in this column. My 5's in this column. There was no factor of 5 for 84, so I just leave an empty space for it. And 7 there. So all the numbers are lined up in matching columns. And then you take one number from each column. So you take a 2, a 2, a 3, a 5, and a 7. And let's write that down. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. And we multiply that out. And I think we can do this in our heads. 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 times 5 is 60. And 60 times 7 is like 6 times 7, which is 42. But here it's 60 times 7, so we have that extra 0, 420. And that's my answer. That's my least common multiple of 84 and 30. And we did that by finding the prime factorization of each number, listing those with the numbers lined up in columns, and then taking one number in each column. In this way, we get all the factors of each number. 84 has two factors of 2, and a factor of 3, and a factor of 7. And you see in our answer here, we have two factors of 2, a factor of 3, and a factor of 7. So our answer is guaranteed to be a multiple of 84. And in 30, we have a factor of 2, a factor of 3, and a factor of 5. And in our answer down here, we have 
a factor of 2, a factor of 3, and a factor of 5. So our answer is also guaranteed to be a multiple of 30. Because we have in our list here all the factors of each number, our answer is guaranteed to be a multiple of each of those original numbers.